Okay, remember just no silly stuff, see. And I'm gonna start streaming. I'm gonna do five minutes of a pre-show before we start. I just wanna test everything. And we are live. Uh, so we're gonna just do a pre-show test. Make sure everything is coming in clear. Uh, let's see if anybody is even watching it. There's a couple of you. Uh, hi, Lemon Jesus. Hi, Say66. Uh, I'll introduce him on the actual stream. This is my brother, Steve. He's going to be assisting with the, the toy display today. Uh, thank you guys for coming so early. Uh, I would usually do the streams a little bit later, but I'm kind of very excited to get these onto my shelf and see what they're all about. Um, yeah, so just to recap, uh, last stream, we went over uh, episode one of Zenkaiger. Uh, that went pretty well. Uh, that is on YouTube if anybody missed it. Uh, again, there is a, if you should so choose, there is a donation button in the About Me section on the page. Uh, do not feel obligated to donate at all if you are feeling generous, please. It does help contribute to the channel. Uh, it'll go towards more merchandise for review and also better equipment, uh, like a better camera, better sound system, uh, maybe more video game adjacent uh, streams. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, it's a little early, but we can kind of get a start on it because we need to open everything up and stuff. Uh, so hand me the whole box, Steve. Steve's going to be my assistant today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is what I got from Tokule uh, Tokulector. Uh, you can find them at, at Tokulector on Twitter. The website is Tokulectables. They are really the best uh, customer service that I've dealt with trying to get these toys from Japan. Um, I'll put that back down to you. Uh, there is a very cool Zenkaiser uh, tape that they use to wrap the boxes. I really appreciate just their attention to detail. They usually throw in some extras like chocolate and, and things like that from Japan. Makes you feel a little bit more special like you're actually in Japan uh, buying these from the store. You can put that back down. Uh, we're going to start with the Change Hero series and then we'll do Deluxe uh, Zenkaiyo Jur Juragawon. It's a mouthful. Um, yeah, grab so, so, uh, which one are we doing first? Grab Zenkaiser. Cool. All right, so that is our lead hero. Uh, these are in the basically the same scale as the Yudo line and the Shoto line, so twelve millimeter. Uh, they definitely appear bigger on the internet, uh, but their detailing is really good from the packaging. The packaging is really fun. Um, yeah, you have that basically. It's a very classic kind of 90s feeling, almost like a, a discount toy looking box. Uh, on the back, it gives you his uh, change information. So uh, Zenkaiser is the only one of these guys who doesn't change. Uh, he is noted as being able to pose change. So basically, he's just more poseable than the other one because he isn't a robot. Um, now we open him up. I kind of, actually kind of like his design. He's got a bit of like a Kamen Rider feel. To I him. love his design. Uh, for those who don't know, his design is inspired by Aka Ranger from Go Ranger. So the first Red Ranger. He himself is not red. He is white. Uh, it is the first time... Well, first technical time that the leader of a Super Sentai team is not red. Um, well, I mean, I, I, mean he, I, I assume he was designed like both uh, off of uh, Aka Ranger... Of, that and big one. There's definitely some some big one coloration in him. Uh, so here we go. One the the placard on the back, very cool. Uh, him with his gun. Inside we have uh, very white suit. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, yeah, no paint on the back, which you know that's expected. So we have him, and then we have uh, his cape and his gun, uh, and he comes on a little platform. Not a platform you can pose on, just a platform. We'll pop him out. I think the last time we had uh, deluxe action figures for Super Sentai was Nin Ninja, and we didn't get the whole team. So, uh, if you guys uh, 
notice anything wrong with the sound with the video, please let me know. Uh, we are still in beginning phases of this channel, so it is nice to get some criticism. Constructive criticism. Okay, so he comes with his cape, which is about yay big. It looks extremely small, especially when I'm holding it. Uh, and then he comes with a little, little, little tiny gear slinger, which is fun. Uh, he himself is pretty poseable. You can kind of bend the shoulders up and down. So if they get, they have 360 rotation. Uh, the legs have 360 rotation. That's pretty good for a Super Sentai toy. Back and forth. Uh, the cape is going to plug right into the back. Now, what I am noticing here, and I don't know if you guys can see this, where his cape plugs in. This reminds me of the uh, when Kamen Rider Yuki was Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. Uh, that that I that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Of. So I I mean, it's rumored that he's going to get a power up. I wouldn't be surprised if they release like a a power up set for him, and you basically put armor on this figure. I would not be surprised. But he's really cool. His head actually goes up and down too, which is nice. Uh, let's get him the gear slinger. His arm, his hands are are closed permanently. They don't they don't open. Um, but that's kind of it is what it is. Cool. Yeah, his knees bend up. Kind of put him in a. shooting. Uh, head does turn, which is nice. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll put him over here for right now. It's certainly more posable than a plastic statue. It is more posable, yes. Um, and, you know, I don't typically buy action figures. I am more in the robot roleplay side of things, but everything about Zenkaidra has appealed to me. Uh, so I've I've gone very much all in. Uh, I even bought... Oh, that's cool. Didn't even notice that. So you flip up the back and those are the instructions. Very much like an old school I, I really, 80s toy. I really like what Japan's been doing with their box instructions. Um, we got, uh, like A little over a year ago, we got the the, the, the digital, digital Monster X devices and the instructions were like in the, the packaging not yeah, quite like that but like it was like a it came with like a little comic book so that was pretty cool so it looks like you can actually take off his arms um or at least ratchet them out which is nice so there you go i know the other ones you can break apart because it's their transformation he's really cool i dig it i like the size class um i did also buy the yudo model kits too so I want to compare them. It's my first Yudo kit, so I don't really know what they were like beforehand, except uh, from anecdotal evidence. Um, but it'll be interesting to see which one is more poseable. Um, they made a big deal about Yudo being redesigned from past years, so I want to see if it's a different kind of figure than this one. And maybe they're scaled more towards the collectors. This is more for the kids. But I think he's pretty... He looks pretty good to me. There's some uh, there's some paint splotches on his chest. I think that's just... I mean, they have a bunch of colors on there. So. Yeah, I think it's just from the fact that that's what happens when you paint toys. But it looks good. Is it hefty? Or... Oh, no. I mean, it's it's a 12 millimeter figure. It's, okay. You're not going to break it. Yeah. But I think it's it, it's for kids, for sure. Um, Get me a Juron. We'll go bit by bit. So Juron, same same thing, right in the packaging. Uh, there's the back. It shows you how he transforms. The transformation for these guys are not exactly the most com complex. The deluxe ones look uh, more intriguing, but I like that they can transform at all. That's sort of that's I guess that's the difference between these and the Yudo. The Yudo don't transform. I kind of wish that, like in the sh like it was only like, the first episode, but I'm assuming I kind of wish like within the show like the the transform states will use use more like practical puppet effects. Right? Oh yeah, I mean the 
I don't think they have models at all of Cause, the... Like, yeah, because, like, last, like, the last one, like, they, ha like, at least early on, like, they did a lot of practical effects. I remember, like, the yep. green car, like, they drove on things. Yeah. I, I, but I, I like when they do, like, I, I, I'm more into Kamen Rider, because I like human versus human kind of looking fights. But I, I like when, with giant fights, it's all practical effects. I love that. So I kind of it's it's kind of uh, jarring for me when like you go from C CGI with that. Uh, so but like, I, I understand it's more cost effective though. Right. Yeah. Well, and this year they have. I think the only suits that they have besides the the regular robot forms are the first two Zenkaio. Um, everything else is. That's pretty cool. Everything else is uh, is CGI so far. So like. The other two Zenkaio forms are CGI. Um, but yeah, that's the back of the box. Shows you his transformation. Again, the directions are back there, which is cool. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I would like. I mean, there's a there's a reason that they they decided to go with having an action figure line, probably because Sh Shirakura is the producer and he is used to having action figures for the Kamen Rider lines. These, I mean, these are smaller, but this reminds me of those Kamen Rider transformation lines. So, this is going to get pegged in here. Okay. Juron's pretty hefty, actually. I mean, for his for his size. He's cool. That Hasbro's going to regret ending Power Rangers now. I mean, this would be... Kind of perfect for for Hasbro. Well, to to allay some fears, it's not that they're ending Power Rangers. They're just no longer from from reports that I have seen. They are no longer uh, at adapting Super Sentai, which could I don't like it. It could potentially be a good thing for both shows because I think the reason that they can find that for me. It's under the couch. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing I will say with. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Assistant. Got it. Nice. Thank you. Uh, so these seem to pop out pretty easily. I think that's a good thing because kids won't break them, but just, you know, for posing, it's not the uh, most ideal. I think that's why they might still be kind of counting on uh, the. You don't want. Uh, so he only comes with his Juron sword. Uh, basically, it pegs in the same way as I've seen the Deluxe do. And his posing is not too great. Again, you can kind of bring his arms 360, but the parts do kind of snap off pretty easily. Um, but he looks good. Uh, to transform him, we do break him apart, so we're going to take out the Juron sword. We're going to take off his back part. And apparently take off his arms. Apparently. Actually, no. Yeah, Tyranno head. I mean, they do let you uh, disassemble it. Um, I've seen people actually mix and match the parts online. I'm wondering if uh, in the future, if there is a power-up of some kind, if you can kind of play more with them. Um, his legs snap off. Basically, they're, these are parts formers. And then his torso and waist snap off. And what you're going to do... Is we bring his arms back like this. It's probably actually easier if you just take off the arms. And then snap them on again, to be honest. Instead of fighting with it. So basically you want... You want that. Man, we just need a better camera. Um, so this part, which was the back, is going to be your center, like so. And it does flip around, which is pretty cool. Think like that. Waist is like this. 
legs. That. So the legs are pegging into the back, basically, in this form. I mean, again, it's not the best representation of the transformation, but the fact that it does transform gets points for me. And the tail pugs in there. I mean, it's kind of what it looks like on the show. And so there you go. Little Jiro and Toronto. I'll leave these transformed until until after the show. We'll put hey, them aside. You can't have a T Rex if it doesn't have eyes in the back of its head. That's true. What do you think? It's a little heftier than the Zenkaiser figure. Yeah, it looks like something I'd play with when I was younger. Yeah. It's cool. Uh so now the the blue one was introduced before the yellow, so which two do you want to do first? Uh bring me yellow. Bring me down. Okay, Gowan's packaging, again the same, and then on the back, showing you how to transform. Uh, Steve, what was your favorite part of the episode? You watched the episode, you watched it without subtitles, like um, a champ. I, I, guess, uh, I guess the parts of the, the giant fight where it's just him fighting and his robot. Yeah. It was very cool. Minus the parts where it goes to So I I like the I mean I like I love the whole episode. My favorite parts I did like the fight at the end. I thought it was really cool how they mixed the ground fight and the uh, robot fight. Um, I also like the fact that they're taking a more it's not parody because there's a lot there is actual danger. But they're taking the opportunity to have those parody moments, like uh, when Juron got his gear slinger and proceeded to immediately shoot a minion in the, in the face. That was funny. You know what? So far, like him specifically was making me think of. I really feel like they're going for kind of like a De a, a Conrader Deno thing with like with the four. Of them. It's very Deno right now. I kind of want the four like to meet the the four imagine. That would be fun. Uh, spoilers: there is a, there are two Kamen Rider gears in the Gear Slinger. One is Ichigo, one is Saber. But that doesn't mean that they can't meet the Imagine. The Imagine are always popping up. So Gaon, the same way, comes like that. Pretty good representation of his suit on the show. He comes with his back and his Gaon claw. Uh, the claw is painted all silver, which is. Odd because it's mostly yellow, but I get it. It's not. They're not really more concerned about that. Uh, his direction is the same thing. So you start by plugging his back in. Goes to the bottom one. It's fine. Too bad the the Gao King mini plus not out because you could have displayed the mini plus together with these two. This is true. Well, I'll eventually I'll do it. So you peg the Gao on claw on. And there you go. That's his complete ranger form. And you can pose them. I'll put pictures out of their posing. I don't really want to go too crazy into it because we have to get to the deluxe robot. Um, he's basically going to be the same as Juron. You take off the back piece. You take off uh, the lion arms. And take off the chest portions. You break them in two. And then you're actually going to fold these down like this, so it's in his, it's in a crouch. Uh, flip him up, and he's going to go over here. Yep. Um, head is coming off. Head is actually going underneath, which is definitely different than the deluxe version. I know that for sure. Okay. Tilt the arms forward. And replacing those.
So now you have that. Okay. Downward claw goes on as his main. You have Gallon Lion. I mean, again, it's cool that the they can even do the transformation. Well, so far we have the Tyrannosaurus with an eye look, with eyes looking in the back of its head, and now we have a lion with a head looking at well, you know. Yep. So you know that that's something. That's there. Okay, give me uh, give me room. We'll save Majin for last. Majin, I know in the deluxe is. Pretty complicated the transformation. I don't think it's as complicated here. Brune comes same way. Packaging with the face. Back has the transformation. I did like that we saw all four of them in the in the premiere uh, in different capacities. I like that Brune is the bad guy's janitor. It's just very funny to me. So Rune comes pretty much put together like this. I guess they all come the same way, basically. He comes with his... Uh, Vroon Picker, which is a pickaxe. I do like that they all have personal weapons. I really like that the personal weapons attach to them in their mecha modes. Because it means that you could potentially have no leftover parts if you chose to display them like that. Uh, Vroon is pretty cool. He looks like the show. Well, what we've seen of him in the show. Again, they all have, they're all pretty flexible. He's the only one that turns into a vehicle. So far. Yeah. Uh, so. Obviously, he's based on Daibokan, which is why he has a pickaxe. This is going to slot into the back of this. And there you go. And, you know, he has pretty... A pretty good range of motion. Uh, for transforming him, we take the pickaxe off. We're going to remove his head. His arms stay together. We take off his legs, so we're breaking them in half. And the back piece comes off. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. They made it very confusing in the instructions. Basically, you're just flipping his chest over, so it's like that with the wheels. Uh, so this underside comes here. So that's under there. And his head attaches to that, like so. Okay. Over there, then you take the legs, you're bending them down like so. Uh, okay, and the waist kind of comes up like this so that that can ratchet into here. Some of these connections are not fantastic. But they do stay on, so there is that. Oh, okay. I put it on wrong. That makes more sense.
Okay, there we go. Got it. Like, I mean, that's cool. Got the pickaxe. I feel like I'm not doing this right. What do you think so far, Steve? Well, to recap, I had looking in the back, I had looking at you know what, and a head that's looking in the dirt. That's what I've taken out of this so far. Perfect. I think that's right. I mean, yeah, they're not uh, they're not too complex. I mean, these re retail at twenty dollars each, so for Sentai toys, that's not terribly expensive. Yeah, you get something like this. Not the most beautiful thing. I think the point of them is just so that when you have the rest of the line, you can display them in ranger mode. Because these guys don't have, they don't all have vinyls. Only red has the vinyl in, in the deluxe. So this gives you an opportunity to display all of them. Uh, okay, last up for the Chains Hero series is uh, our pink, who is Majin. Uh, there is not another Chains Hero series until, well, the second quarter, and that is going to be the sixth stranger, Chu Kaiser. Um, and his is probably going to be the most involved because it switches between two forms. And they switch between two forms. Oh, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, uh, excuse me, three forms. He'll have his base and uh, then his two other modes. But he's also not a robot, so it's not, not going to be a robotic transformation. I think he'll probably come with parts to add on to him. Uh, if you weren't aware, that is the box. That is the pack. They all have the same packaging. Again, I think it's just cool to have deluxe action figures again. And the splash pieces are, are pretty cool. Right there. Uh, I like that Magine is not a pink pink. She's more of a dark magenta kind of color. Uh, she, the same way the others do, comes with her weapon and her, her back piece. The back pieces here are more acting as like a core before they transform. That's kind of how it is. I was actually worried that the deluxe mecha would do that kind of that kind of thing, like be a parts former, but they're not. They're all transformers. And then the only parts forming on the deluxe mecha is Majin's wings. So her kind of back portion also has her legs in dragon mode, and then we have her magic staff, the Majin stick. Okay. And she's pretty cool, obviously, based on Magic King. Magic stick. Oh, and of course, they like the package or like she's summoning Bahamut. Yeah, that's very true. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but maybe it was. Okay. So what are they saying? But why would you package it like that, though? Okay. Yeah, and she... You know, has all the movement. She even has that movement, which I didn't think she did. You can kind of move her, the uh, the dragon mouth on the skirt, so that you can get some more posing in, which is cool. And you know, they all bend the, the knee and everything. I mean, for for they're much more bendable than I thought they would be. Definitely cool. I like her a lot. She might be my favorite, actually. Of this line. Uh, okay, so to transform her, we take the back portion off. Same deal as the other ones. Yeah, the toy's transforming itself. Legs off. 
head off and the stick off. The stick is the dragon's tail. For those who did not guess, uh, the arms are going to come down flat like this. Okay, and she actually does look more involved, which kind of carries over from her deluxe version. Uh, so the head comes together kind of like this. There is a joint to put the head together so that it makes the head of the dragon. All right, that flips down. Uh, okay, so they cheated a little bit. They basically just don't, tr they leave that bottom mouth part on the bottom of the dragon. And the deluxe toy it actually is the bottom of the mouth. But that makes sense, because how would they even do that? Uh, so this flips down like this. Wings flip up, which is awesome. I did not think that they flipped up like that. These come out like this. That connects to this. Okay. Sure, I have this right. Okay. I think that's the way. So, bottom legs fold like that. You're going to take the Majin stick and the head. The head is going to go under. Like so. That's pretty cool. That's going to go in here. So in other words, this time, the head becomes a Stegosaurus brain. Yes. Scientifically speaking. Well, actually, no, because that's, that's actually not true. I don't know this. I do know this. I mean, she's pretty... pretty big. Oh, that, okay, that definitely disconnected from the joint. So the head actually comes off. That's interesting. So it's, it's connected to, like, both the legs? Yeah. Maybe they did that so you could pose the head more? Probably. But again, none of the connections in this to on, on these toys are, like, so strong. Because I think they do want the kids to pose with them. But, I mean, it's not a bad... If I, if If this came out in the stores when I was a little kid... I'd be pretty down for them. Same. The fact that they transform like that. Okay. Now the big boy. So Steve, first, I just want you to... I guess these can stay. Right here. Okay, so those are them. Uh, my opinions on the Train Chiro series. Let me grab some water. Uh, I like them. I think my favorite uh, would be... My man, Zenkaiser, and then Majin. Uh, the Majin transformation is pretty cool, even in Change Heroes. Zenkaiser is really poseable. The other three are fine. It's cool having them. Like I, I don't, I want them, but they're not like crazy. You know, I don't feel a, a burning need to have them. The only thing I will say is just the way that I'm displaying my toys. It is nice that I get a, a nice human humanoid form for everybody to display against the other things. I think I'm doing mini plot as the mecha forms. I'm doing the... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Because I just like that these are pretty quick to transform. So like if I wanted to display these in any any mode, uh, I can do it. Uh, hi, CV. What's up? In him as much, you, we're, we're about to do the big deluxe uh, Juragon. I'll just show off these guys one more time. So that's Zen Kaiser. That's Juron in his Tyranna mode. Jorotomano. That's Gowan in Gowan line mode. Vroon in Vroon dump mode. And Majin in Majin dragon mode. Uh, fun. I mean, I would recommend them, definitely. Uh, I would just, again, Zen Kaiser and Majin are the best out of the two. 
Um, now we can do the Lux Jurago one, which I'm very excited for. And uh, if you miss the this part of the stream, you can, this will be put on YouTube. So you're, you're good, good to go even if you missed a bit. Uh, Zenkaiser, uh, so CB, this is the uh, Change Hero series, Zenkaiser. Um, so he's not included in the set. It's the action figure line for Zenkaiser. And again, this does have some, those those back ports with the, I mean, you're good at this stuff, Steve. You tell me. Does that not look like there's going to be more for him to snap into? I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's I, not, I mean, that's not exactly my port. I mean, like, remember Aubrey? Also, thing on the belt. It's like, there's, it looks more like something where you'd, like, put, like, a stand on to attach to. Maybe. It's true. Like, remember when we thought, like, remember, like, Ob Ranger, like, the Tyrannosaurus, like, it went into, like, a whole bunch of pieces, and, like, you were speculating what it could yeah, be combined into? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I see I see ports on, on him, and even on the legs, there's joints in. I could see... There's a sound... Spoiler alert. There's a sound in the Gear Slinger that is the super gear. I think Zenkaiser's gonna get a power up. Uh, I see what he says, got it, thanks. No problem. And thank you for coming. Okay. Now's the big one. The first in the Deluxe Robot Series for Zenkaiger. Deluxe Zenkaio, or I should say, Deluxe Zenkai Gatai. Zenkaio, Jurigon. Zenkai meaning all worlds. Uh, a little dinged up, but that's okay. Yeah, a couple of dents in the corners of the box. And it happens. I'm not a person who keeps the boxes for long anyway, so. You were, however. I used to be. Kept, keep the boxes I used to long. be. I'll probably keep these for a while. Alrighty. I've seen a dozen of these reviews on YouTube, so I won't spend too much time on them. But. You hold on to that. So the box. On the front, we have uh, Zenkai Jurgon, and we have the Deluxe. Uh, Juron and Deluxe Gatlon. Okay. Uh, on the side, we get a nice picture of all three. On that side, we get a nice picture of the mecha forms. Bottom is just toy information, and on the back, we get this showing off the skills. Uh, the directions only come with the basic knowledge. Um, so if you really need to know what to do, you do have to go onto the website, which I'm already logged into, for the full uh, direction. That's just something that Bandai's been doing recently. So I have them open up already. Okay. And... Cool. Uh, the batteries are those. I forget what they what they're called. The 1.5 volts. So, you won't even change them for a while. They're not triple A's or anything like that. Uh, here's how it comes in the box. So, I don't want to take them over too much. Uh, we have Gowon kind of semi transformed, and then Jiron semi transformed with their arms and stuff. Steve, I'm going to hand you some pieces that you can just hold on to. So, we have Gowon's. I mean, these, these this toy is pretty hefty. Uh, so, there's Gowon's arm with the nice. Lion seal on it, done in chrome. I like the nice, yeah, I like which that. is cool. It looks more. Um, it looks like you're getting what you're paying for. It looks like the shiniest like these toys have been in like years. And then here's his other arm. You just hold those for me. Uh, then we have Juron. That's his nice shiny chrome shield. Love the design for these guys. If you didn't know, the designer for these toys is actually the guy who worked on the newer version of the Choryujin uh, series from Gao Gai Gar. Not, not the original designer of, of Choryujin, but the uh, when they did like Soul of Chogokin Choryujin, the guy who did that made these toys. So basically, he's taking Choryujin Gatai technology and putting it into here. And then Jiren's other arm. Okay. Uh, then we have the weaponry, which again, pretty sizable. And it makes sense. They kind of had to balance uh, the weapons being usable by the mecha themselves and the robots. So, I mean, that's a pretty big sword. Uh, that's the Juron sword. 
Better it to be a big sword wielded by a small person than a small sword wielded by a big person. This is true. Uh, we still have two weapons in here, I think. There's the Gowan Claw. Again, pretty sizable. I'm going to put these guys aside. And then just one more piece. We have the Juron Shield. Which is on the small side, but that makes sense. Because it is part of the actual transformation. But there you go. Let's so see if you can lay those guys out here. I've got a lovely bunch of my buckets. Uh, CB says, nice, nice. I haven't decided if I want these yet. The team them is making me a little itchy. I know, right? Um, I did buy also the Mini Plus, so we'll be doing a build of those stream once I get them in. The mini plus for Juragawan comes out on the 22nd of March. Um, and I will be doing another stream tomorrow with uh, the Gear Slinger, uh, SG Set 1 of the Gears, and also uh, the Zenkai Buckle, and SHO 1, which is Zenkaizen. So, Juragawan Toronto comes like this. I'm going to pull out his thing. Very nice. I love that these guys have sounds in them. I can't tell you how much I love that. I don't believe uh, that uh, Tukayo, who is the robot of Tukaiser, who is the Sixth Ranger, again, spoiler alert, um, I don't believe his will have sounds in it because his robot has six modes of transformation, and I don't think there is room for sounds in it. It's also less expensive than you, these guys. Usually I'm not a fan of sounds because like, I care about like how good the designs are, but I can say this time, I don't think the sound effects really hinder. I the think designs. it's a good balance. I think Juragawan got the the worst of it because their transformation's pretty crazy, um, and also just the way that this design with the sound sound box inside of it, his head kind of hangs off. But I don't know. I'm fine with it. So we're gonna try and do this slowly. Uh, Hi, CB says, do you have a guess to when we will see a bigger combination? So the rumor is that Zenkaiser is gonna get his own mecha that's an airship, uh, modeled after. Very Doreen or something like that. Uh, and the, the rumor that goes with that is that that mecha will facilitate a gata between the five rangers, um, where these guys become arms and Vroon and Majin become legs. We don't know how true that is. Um, I have a very good feeling about the airship rumor in particular. I don't know about the five gata, but we'll see. There is a sound in here, actually. Um, it's a super gata sound for Zenkaio Super Juron. Uh, so... At least Juron is going to be part of a super combination. We don't know what it looks like yet, though. I think a cool, like, if it's an airship, maybe it could be, like, a like a blimp. Yeah, I mean, the Go Ranger ones are like blimps, basically. All right, so we're folding down his head. Turn our head. I love the paint on these guys. I love the design. I think it looks just so cool. Uh, we fold. Wow, there's a lot of transformation going on. We fold this in, like so. Ooh. There we go. That's where the camera is, man. Okay. Uh, and then we fold this here. Okay. I think it's supposed to be sitting flush, but... Oh, there we go. So it is... Make sure that it's snapped in like that so the mouth is closed. Uh, and then... Hands come out. Okay, and then this is coming here, like so. Yeah, this is a lot more transformation than I thought they were going to do. Uh, and then bring him here, like so. So he's like that. And here, like so. And then the feet come apart, like that. Uh, and then we're going to put on his arms. This has to come in. Okay. So now we're like this. So this arm goes... Try and do it for you guys to see. And it's it's quite hefty of a, of a joint. So you really do have to pop it in. And it's a nice, very satisfying sound. Nice ratchety sound. Yep. 
other arm in. Again, it does take some pressure. And so we're here. And if my phone will stop going to sleep, that would be great. Basically, you're just going to swing the head in over the sound card. It clips in. And you're going to flip the head around. And right now, its visor is down. And you just flip the visor up. And there's our boy, Juron. So it's got some hair. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's not, it's not small. Oh, yeah, that's pretty decent. Now, see the, uh, see this on the back. Well, you can plug in so that it can hold the shield on the back. Uh, where is it? Yeah. See, you can plug the shield into the back there. People are thinking, mostly me, this looks like an arm joint to me. That looks like Muteki Shogun is going to plug in as an arm. Just, uh, that's my, my theory. Uh, CB says, I love sounds. I activate my Kirana pretty often. Yeah, I love the sounds. So the sounds are going to be in Juron and also in Vrin. Okay? Uh, <coughs> let's give him his weapons. And guys, we're only going about like 5.10 today. I just wanted to show off this guy. Because again, we're doing tomorrow as well. Uh, so you want to put the center clip onto his arm. Yeah, that's that's a hefty joint sound. Which I love. I love when the the joints aren't really weak. As I say, oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. Yeah, you kind of have to tilt his the sword to the side to get it in. But there he is. It looks Zenkai Juron. Okay, uh, and. We'll put him aside for now. What do you think of him, Steve? Yeah, it looks really cool. I like it. Yeah, I think they made the right choice to make the sword big on him instead of small on yep. the mind. So we have Gowan. Gowan's basically going to do the same deal. Uh, we're going to flip his legs back in there. Okay. Close his head. Now, Gowan and Majin have the bigger pieces of the robot head in them, which is how they've set this up. Uh, he's going to be pretty much exactly the same. We flip this leg in. We flip over. Close. So now we're like this. And see, seeing this, you could see how easily they could turn these into arms for a bigger combination, right? Yeah. Okay. Now he's standing like this. Uh, what I like about this is the transformation is not hard, but it's also not easy. If that makes sense. Actually, well, I know how you said, but like, if you turn this, um, have that facing upwards. Uh, well, we don't have time to do that. People have tried doing the arm thing. I guess we're putting his arms in early here. Fine with me. Okay, so we're kind of like that right now. Wow, that's really cool. Now we're that. So if you lift him up like this, there's a button actually that pops out the head, and you can put him back down, pull out the head, bring his horn up, and then you have Gowan. Deluxe, I mean, uh, you, Zenkai Gowan will be making his debut in the next episode of Zenkai Jin. He is played by one of my favorite voice actors, uh, Kaji Yuki, who is Eren in uh, Attack on Titan. Uh, so you're putting his Gowan claw there. 
And there you go. Uh, Steve, if you would not mind, well, one, what is your opinion of him? Uh, I like the way that one looks. I kind of like him a lot. Okay, uh, Steve, you give your opinion so far. I just have to do a quick thing here for the stream. What is your opinion? Um, I, well, I like how they try to capture each of like the four robots from previous years. Yep. And like they actually, even though like some of them are different colors, like they actually do a pretty good job. That they kind of look like if like you, it, they kind of look like they like the old robots went into like a to get like a facelift, and they look like younger versions of themselves. Like, if Dai Zhu right. looks like he's in his 40s, this guy looks like he's in his 20s. Right. This is true. Uh, so, special treat for everybody. I found my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord. With uh, some missing pieces. With some missing pieces, because it's old, and I, I've been looking for it for a while. And it was in a box for a very long time. True. Uh, we're going to compare them, okay? So, Steve, I want you to hold Gowan, who is also pretty hefty. And I'm going to bring the OG. Oh, you got... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you hold that. There we go. How it used to be, how it's going. I love the fact that the silhouette even kind of brings that, that feeling to you. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, the arms are black, so it just kind of... Yeah, it does kind of match. The head definitely matches. Okay. Uh, and then... For Gaon, we'll probably do this with each each toy. I just gotta remember to have my Daibo Ken transformed. There we go. So cool. This is the Lux Gao King with Gaon. Love it. Yeah, he actually uh, just got. That. I just got Gao King, yeah. Well, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was like maybe like a month or so ago. Okay, let's transform them into their mecha forms. Shall we? Okay. So basically their mecha forms are the first step into transforming into the Zenkai Jirogawan. So we're gonna take I'm gonna need you to hold these uh weapons for me, Steve. So take the Jirogon shield. The Juron Sword. The Juron Sword with Juron is a little annoying, but it's not bad. Okay. Oh, I see. There's like a small peg for him, and then there's the bigger peg for the combined Yep, one. exactly. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically reverse what we did. We're dropping the visor. We're going to flip his head around. 360. Okay. Uh, this shield is going to fold in half. Like so. This is becoming the chest of the Tyrannosaurus. Okay. I'm going to fold him up like this. And then, oh, sorry. This is going to get slotted in. Like so. Again, not the strongest joint there, but it's it's workable. Okay. So now we're like this, long ways with the Tyrannosaurus. Going to drop the legs out like this. Fold the bottom legs down like so. Sword, just slot in right here. It's got a pretty good hold, and there you go. Tyrannosaurus mode. Let me just stand it for you to take a look and see. There's a. It's not the most secure thing in the world, but I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. The transformation is really easy, actually. I mean, it kind of looks like the hands are coming out of the bottom of his mouth, but. Yeah, but I think I think that's kind of what you get. Uh, now, Gowan, I know, is a little bit of a more lion-like transformation. So we're taking off the Gowan Claw. 
we're gonna fold. Oops, come here. We're gonna fold in his helmet like that, and we're gonna push his head down. Now the head does clip in, but in between having it up and putting it down, it is a little flimsy. Uh, I think that's just part of the transformation, though. So we're gonna fold this out and up like this. So we're here. And then the legs are going to come down like this. The way that they pop down is really cool for me. Okay. Arms fold out. I mean, these transformations are awesome so far. And I know for a fact that Majin's is, like, amazing. And then this claw comes in as a main. There you go. Gao on Lion. I really like the both of them, actually. One, they're pretty big. They're bigger than I thought they were going to be. Two, they're just cool, and the transformations are great. What do you think of that one, Zane? I think it comes out better than the P-Rex. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay. Now, we're not going to make it in time because it's the first time doing this, but we're going to make the sounds. Okay, so, again, you're going to have to hold it. The tail sword, the Juron sword, and Juron shield. Okay. So we're folding the feet down like this. We're going to combine the arms like this, or the legs to the arm, and it makes a big fist. <laughs> okay. The head. Is going to come back out on the swivel, like so, but the visor is down. Okay, this is the sound box right in here. Okay, now we're going to open this and it's going to start the sound effects. Zenkai meaning fully open. That's the pun. There we go. We're falling down like that. And then this comes up here. There we go. We're not going to make it. Yeah, I know. Okay. That comes out there. And that's the hat right there. So we're just putting this down because we're not going to make it. Okay. And it's fun that it speeds up though. So, top off for him. That means we're too slow. That's really stupid they put that in there like that. Well, once you know how to do it. It's fun for the kids. Okay. You're Zenkaiing him as well, fully open, but he does not have the sound card in him. Again, only Juron and Varun have the sound card. Uh, so we're going to have him open like that. Arm's going to come up here. This is going to go down here. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy amount of transformation. And it's not too complicated. Flip out that. Join the arms here. Flip. Flip. Okay. Don't want these to keep down, so we'll, we'll, we'll adjust them. We want those down. Okay. Yeah, that would help. Okay. Here we go.
Yeah, some people do this, but I think you can. There he is, Deluxe Zenkaio Jurigawa. I think I have that transformation, right? He's really cool. I love it. The things that we can do with, with him here. Uh, the sword does store in the back loosely. Not the best thing in the world, but you can hang it. And it does stay. Like so. Which is nice. Uh, you can put the shield and the claws on the waist. On their respective sides, of course. Yeah. Like so. Here's the shield. Oh, well, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just want to show. I didn't really like doing that. Okay. But he's a hefty size. He's about the same size as the Ryu Sojourn Mecha. Uh, definitely bigger than the Kira Major Mecha, for sure. Okay. So, you can arm him with everything, basically. Sword goes in much nicer to him. So, this would be Juron. So, we're going to close, close the heads. And then we open up the heads again. And then he has Juron's personality. We close the heads. Give him the claw. Take off the shield. Now he has Gowan's personality. And that's he'll be on the shelf. So they can split, split back and forth. Steve, what do you think of this guy? It's cool. I love him, man. It's like, um, what was that thing from, what was that from, uh, Gao Gai Gar, like those robots that did the same thing? Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. The Chori Yujin guys. The Chori Yujin brothers. So the designer of this designed oh, them. Oh, that's why it's the same thing. Yeah, they designed them, but not the original versions of them. The soul of, the soul of Chigokin versions of them. You can put all of the weapons on him at once. Won't affect the toy. Like so. Uh, he is a little... I wouldn't say he's top-heavy. He's pretty not, solid. Not a lot of heel support. He doesn't have a lot of going on on the bottom. But he's not He's not top-heavy. Um, it's not half too much. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. That's not bad. Um, just going by the size of the arms, I really do think these are going to become arms for a bigger mecha, because look at the size of the fist. Like, that's, that's big. Um, yeah, so we're going to hit five. Uh, Steve, out of everything we saw today, what are your opinions on Zenkai? Uh, I mean, so far, so good. I mean, like, I, I don't know, like, how I'm going to, whether I'm going to like the show or not, but at least I can, if, like, the robot fights are cool, I can at least enjoy that. There you go. Uh, so Zenkai episode two will be premiering this weekend. Again, I will do my post-show at 9.30 Eastern uh, Standard Time. We're doing it that late because uh, as of March 14th, it is Daylight Savings Time. I think I said Daylight Savings Time was this week. Um, I was obviously mistaken. It is March 14th. Uh, so we have one more episode of Super Sentai where we can have it at 7. Uh, and again, I will be going live at 9.30. Uh, anybody who missed this and wants to watch this can watch this on YouTube. Again, uh, if you feel like donating, we really appreciate it. As you can see, we could use the extra camera and all that, um, especially for the modeling episodes. I think we need more camera setup. Uh, I love everything that I've opened today. I can't wait to get more stuff. We are doing a stream tomorrow, uh, again, with the Gear Tlinger, uh, the first set of SG gears, and the vinyl for Zenkaiser. Uh, the rest of quarter one, uh, I think GP set one of the gears comes out this week. Um, so I'll get that in, in a couple of days, I would imagine, maybe like a couple of weeks. Uh, and then 
Zenkaio Vrumajin comes out the first week of April. Um, so, you know, every time I get a, a batch of toys in, we'll do one of these streams. Um, you want to wanna hold, hold, make a hold of those two and you hold that up? Oh, uh, we can three. we can put all three, I think, in, in the shot here. Oh, yeah. And okay. that'll be our... This will be our... Uh, our... Video top. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Uh, so, guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, we will again be doing the stream tomorrow. Uh, I will decide on a time on that based on when the package gets here. And then Saturday at 9 30 Eastern, we're going to do our uh, reaction to the episode and talk. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. Have a great day, and thank you for tuning in. Bye. So long.